rise of hate both here and around the world. The Israel-Hamas war sparking an increase in anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. Gabe Gutierrez has more. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Rose Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. Oh, praises to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one. Yes, our Father, the All, the One, the Almighty One. Hallelujah. And to our most beautiful mother, Marihala, we adore you above all. And we ask you for wisdom in this judgment news. Shalom, all my sisters and my brothers out there of the Star Siege United, allies and friends. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours, abracadabra. Yeah, today we gonna be talking about hate. Yeah, that's gonna be the big word of the day because they say it's a rise in hate. How many of us thought that hate was something evil? <laughs> I know I did. Yeah. Before I go any further, I just want to tell y'all how much I missed you while I was in YouTube jail. A few of y'all came to visit me, yeah, over there at Star Siege United while I was in jail. Yeah, thank y'all for coming and visiting me over there. Yeah, I post the same thing that I post over here. So when they put me in jail over here at uh, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, I just, I kept on working. I'm telling you, I was working even harder. I was on overdrive because I was mad at their asses for putting me in YouTube jail. An oracle for the Most High God of Israel. Warning them, even warning them and giving them. Okay, you guys, I got kind of angry right there. Let me pull myself back together and get on another vibe. I'm talking to my sisters and my brothers right now. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to my sisters and brothers of the Star Seed United Allies and Friends. I love you guys. Yeah, and while I was in YouTube jail, as a judge of the Most High God of Israel's Most Holy Courts, I was putting my work in on their asses, and I know they're feeling it now. We're going to talk about this word, hate, today. Yes, we, because they're trying to push hate out like hate is something evil. Hate is not evil. It is not evil at all. The Most High, our Father, has the emotion of hate. Yes, he does. And so, uh, we're going to talk about this word today because they're trying to weaponize it. Now, we already know about the word magic of anti this and anti that they're always the freaking victims yeah they're gonna be feeling them that victimization from the most highest judgment i'm sure some of them are feeling it already yeah they're already feeling it we go to the courts of the most high and the most high has bowed the heavens and heard us and reacted to us that makes us very powerfully magical Okay, this has nothing to do, this mission has nothing to do with the 3D. Yeah, as far as us asking for personal blessings and, uh, you know, that money, uh, what is it, the prosperity ministry and all of that old bull crap. This is straight up war and we were chosen. We were chosen to bring down some people that were very, very powerful with our magic. Yeah, and it pissed somebody off a couple times, actually. <laughs> because, see, we are right on target. We are hitting targets left and right, and the Most High is letting their asses have it. Okay, so I'm talking to you, Star Siege United, but I know I'm talking to the spies, too. Yeah, those that Jonathan Greenblatt, they probably distancing themselves from his ass now. Oh, yes, once the word gets out. Honey, they start scrambling. And one of the things they do is ostracize somebody. And because of his big mouth, I know he's feeling it. Yeah, and so is the whole of people who stole our identity. They're feeling energy. They're, they're feeling energy. It's just starting to begin to morph on them, okay? So they're trying to get in control of this emotion called hate. Let's talk about the most high's hate. 
before we go to Proverbs, the sixth chapter. Let's read what an abomination is and what hate is, because the Most High expresses those things in Proverbs, the sixth chapter. So, an abomination is a thing that causes disgust or hatred. Okay, it causes that emotion. Now, let's go to hate. Hate. Feel intense or passionate dislike for someone. That's hate. It's an emotion. It's an intense, passionate dislike. That's what hate is. That's why I say hate is not evil. So now they're putting that word hate, trying to weaponize it in the media. When hate is not evil. Okay, Proverbs the 6th chapter, the 16th through the 19th verse. This is the King James Version. These six things does the Lord hate. He has a strong, passionate dislike for it. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. So seven of these things causes him to have a hatred. What are these things? A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Now these things, the Most High says, six of them he already hate. Yeah, and seven of them will make him hate. That's what he says. He has this same emotion. Now they're trying to weaponize this word, you know, because they got, they coined anti. We already know why we broke it down. So they're anti-hate. When everyone in this, on this earth that have been harmed by someone or someone has vile, disgusting behaviors, have the emotion of hatred within them. Okay? Just like a, 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 a example. A child molester. You have every reason in the world to hate a child molester. You know that they're guilty. You know, so you hate them. It's normal. But what they want to do is push hate out there like it's something diabolically evil. So they're accusing our father, too, of being diabolically evil. What What's happening here is they are afraid of this hatred that is bottled up on the inside, the energy that comes along with that dislike to come, it come to a boiling point. And then it explodes. Yeah, that's what they're scared of because they know that they don't have that energy anymore of people giving them the opposite of that, which is love. Everybody was loving on them. Oh, bless Israel, thou shall be blessed. Curse Israel and thou shall be cursed. When these people are not even the, the real people, but they tricked everybody into believing it. Right? And so they received our blessing. We went over this several times. That energy of the whole world respecting and blessing them. They no longer have it. We went to the courts of the Most High on that one and asked the Most High to snatch all that energy. And he did. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. He took that energy out of their hands. Now, Hebrew Israelites. We haven't, we haven't received that blessing yet. The Most High is holding it up. Okay, he's holding it up. Now, all of the energy over the globe is focused in on Palestine. Yeah, and we've been talking a lot about it too. Um, Yaki Yak Israel. You left a comment and asked um, that I look into the Congo. And you did the exact right thing because we are talking about these energies over the, the globe and all of the energy is going towards the Palestine to the Palestinians right now because the war is global. But we have some brothers and sisters that's suffering in the Congo. 
And I will be more than happy to take them to the courts of the Most High today. I don't have to do research on it and do a whole video. You know, you expressed your urgency for our brothers and sisters in the Congo. So we're going to respond by taking them to the courts of the Most High. I just wanted to let you know that. As far as uh, those of you who resonate with being a judge, you know that you're a judge. You know that the Most High bow the heavens and listen to you. You don't have to wait for the Hebrew rose of Jericho. You have the power now because the Most High bows the heavens to hear you. You're, you're automatically led into the gates when you open your mouth. Yeah, so let Mother guide you when you see something in the news. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. So, now let's go back to these things that the Most High say that He hates. And then I'm, I'm going to give you an example now, they want to go after people for hating when everyone on the planet has this emotion. They have the emotion of hate unless they just born with a silver spoon and they had, um, they've been surrounded by em empathetic people. Yeah, they have no reason to hate anybody because, you know, nobody ever done anything to them. They might, might not have ever experienced hatred. In, within themselves before yet but there's always that possibility so they're trying to s do this anti-hate campaign the anti-semitism is flushed down the toilet now they're trying to go against hate and i smell a rat jonathan greenblatt again and the anti-defamation league it's DJ NV, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. That's right, the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. Jonathan Greenblatt, welcome. Good morning, welcome. Thanks for having me. How are you, man? I'm well. How are you guys? Yeah, I'm blessed, black, and highly favored. Doing pretty go. good. There you go. So what? let's start off. What is the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League? Well, the anti what do you do? What do I do? So the Anti-Defamation League, let's just step back. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest anti-hate organization in the United States. It was founded in 1913. Anti-Defamation League, let's just step back. Mm -hmm. It's the oldest anti-hate organization in the United States. Got you again, you sneaky rat. Yes, they trying to use that word magic. Of course, we're going to take that to the courts of the Most High. Now, you know what? I was thinking about the scripture where they say, Yahweh Shai said, Love your enemies and pray for them that despitefully use you. Now, either they twisted it all up in the interpretation or it's a straight up lie. One or the other. I do not believe it. I don't resonate with that. I don't resonate with that anymore. That I'm supposed to actually love people like Jonathan Greenblatt. Love people like Ron DeSantis. Love people like Nathan Yahoo. When I know that they're the enemies of our people. Yeah, I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt that I have a very passionate dislike for them, which is under the label of hatred. Yeah, and rightfully so. And my father hates these people for the same reason. And what they're going to do, indict the, the father to? <laughs> I know this old English language and in their interpretation you know, things have a whole nother meaning to it. And I do not believe that he meant for us to pray for them, to love them, love your enemies. We're supposed to love Netanyahu. I think that was a big old trick. And we're supposed to pray for Netanyahu and his ambassador and his defense minister and all of them wicked little kids that they got out there giving them guns and rockets and shit and they dancing around and and, and all happy singing, cheering each other on with all that blood on their shoes and on their hands. And you mean to tell me I'm supposed to love them? And I'm supposed to pray for them? I'm going to pray for them all right in the courts of the Most High. I'm going to continue on with this mission. You see, what I have to tell all you spies out there. Yeah, because y'all know what I'm telling is the truth. And y'all know about this powerful magic. It's magic against magic. It's magic against magic. And you cannot control the entire 
population of this earth by threatening people for hating what Netanyahu and his crew and those people are doing. You can't do it. You cannot do it. But what you're going to do, all your efforts, all your efforts to try to go against people because they're hating on what you do and they speak on it, it's going to backfire on you every time you get in front of the camera and start threatening people with that word hate and sicken these federal agencies is going to backfire on you and then what's going to happen is the energy is going to quickly morph on you and then that anger that people have and the disgust and the dislike that they have for you is going to start morphing in the energy they're trying to show in peaceful protests Y'all haven't had a lynching since Leo Frank. Y'all complaining about people passing notes to your children. And they supposed to be so scared. <laughs> and y'all think that y'all gonna round up everybody. You think you're gonna round up everybody with the emotion of hate. That is just insanely stupid. That strategy. Okay, it's going to backfire on you. It's going to backfire just like anti-Semitism backfired. And all of the atrocities, all of the little skeletons are already falling out the closet. I already know. I already know that Jonathan Greenblatt is starting to feel it. He's starting to feel his power uh, leaving him and pulling off all of his shenanigans. And the deception that they tried to use the illusion that we saw when Lester Holt made his announcement. Israel, we, we, we want to turn now to the rise of hate both here and around the world. The Israel-Hamas war sparking an increase in anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. Gabe Gutierrez has more. And that's not going to work either. Jonathan. Of the ADL. Yeah. The oldest anti-hate group in America. <laughs> so they put Islamophobia in there to try to trick people into biting. No, nah, no, nah, people are not going to bite that bait either. Y'all need to stay from in front of the camera with y'all propaganda because it's so, so stupid. Now, you know, I talked about them when they tried to steal the protests from the Palestinians again when they marched into the White House with their little white flags with the Star David on it. So now this is another production right here. Now, out of all the protests globally, when have you seen them arrest pe peaceful protesters? Peacefully protesting. They're going to arrest every last one of the peaceful protesters. This is propaganda. Because if they arrest their own for protesting, then they think they have a right to arrest yours too. Not going to happen. Not. Not. That little trick is not going to work either. They're supposed to be protesting to free Palestine and not one of them are holding a Palestinian flag. So you know it's fake. This is a production they wanted to put on a display of their own being arrested for the protest. I'm telling you, it's a trick. It's a big old production. They said you only have to be out there till 3.30 and then we'll have you all arrested and then we'll let you all go free. So you just have to spend this amount of time. You know, you, you just need to stop. We see right through it. Oh, praise is Yahweh. Yeah, all praises. Thank you so much for bowing the heavens and hearing us one more time. Giving us ear in our cases and hearing all of the evidence that we have against the enemies of our soul. The most hateful people on this earth. The imposters. Father, we have a special request from Yaki Yai Yisrael for our brothers and sisters that are in the Congo. Are the innocents in the Congo? That are being enslaved as we speak. The same colonizing pattern, Father. And all of the energy in the world right now is focused in on Palestine. And we ask that you send some heavenly energy. We ask that you send your hosts 
to the Congo to straighten it out, to turn it upside down, to cause the enemy to be defeated and lose all of their power over the people in the Congo and let them be free, Father. Abracadabra. Father, the enemy of our soul, Hashitan, that old wicked one, is making another attempt to harness the energy of the earth. We ask you to snatch all of his powers away, his word magic, that word magic of hate. Yeah, they're trying to weaponize that word, Father. We render that word powerless against your children. And Father, we ask you to just let them let them tell the truth on themselves. Let them tell all the truth of their hatred, Father. Let it just flow like a river out of their mouths as the skeletons come falling out of the closet for all of their wickedness, the wickedness that you hate. Father, we ask that every attempt, every attempt that they make, every word that they come with and weaponize to try to arrest people and to harness energy, you just let it backfire on the Father. Let it backfire and let the energy morph. Every time they put energy in it, let the, the energy of the planet morph on them. They're crying about people passing notes while Benjamin Netanyahu is just have his little wicked minion, those little young people out there with the rifle and the blood on their shoes and the blood of, on their hands. He's letting them loose on innocent children and women and pregnant women and men to just go in and annihilate and do a genocide. And the whole world sees it, Father, because you have already exposed just how wicked these people can be. And in their indifference, Father, to everybody else's suffering, they want to stand as the victim. We ask you to snatch the victim card away from them. Snatch the victim card away, Father. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Let no one on this earth have sympathy for them. From now and forevermore, Abracadabra, so be it. So be it. We ask to continue to be free, Father. And when they come against people telling the truth of how they feel with their emotions against evil, their emotions are against evil just like yours, Father. In this case, it's Palestine. I see you're testing the planet to see just like you did with Abraham. When you ask for a count of how many righteous was in Sodom and Gomorrah. Father, we ask you to let this all process out and let everybody see the truth so they, they can make an informed decision before this judgment day. Let all of our enemies be exposed. Let them just flop. Let the world see them go down like Jonathan Greenblatt with his word magic. Trying to get ahead of things, Father. But all praises to the Most High from Mother. Because she told us what he was doing personally. And told us to come to you and tell it. And I'm telling on Jonathan Greenblatt, Father, he's a rat. He's an evil, wicked rat that would love to see us rounded up for speaking truth. And we ask that you shut his mouth and you muzzle him once and for all. Let him be ostracized by those he think is his allies and let their hatred towards him be expressed. Abracadabra for all of his wickedness and Netanyahu, Father, we ask that you Unleash your host on him and all of his men. We know you're going to do it in due time, Father, but you know we'd like to ask you for things anyway. For all of their evil, for all of their evil and made-up stories, making up stories, we're looking at the pictures right before our eyes with no evidence of what they're saying to try to persuade people. Yeah, to take the wrong side. Let it backfire, Father. <clears throat> And let the people of the earth express how they feel with freedom, especially if they're choosing 
righteousness over wickedness. And all those that want to arrest those that are trying to choose the right side, let them be arrested, Father. Let them be indicted. In this 3D dimension, by their own courts, abracadabra. <clears throat> Thank you, Father, for this magical mission that you have assigned to us in the days of this great reset. And we look forward to the day, of Revelation 3 and 9, when you said that the imposters, those that say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, will worship before our feet and know that you love us. Hallelujah. And Mother, we just thank you so much again for guiding us on this, this very powerful mission of warfare. Thank you so much, Mother. We adore you. And we pledge our allegiance to our Messiah, our big brother, that reigns as King and God of this earth. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Father, we ask that you keep us. We know you're going to keep us safe through these judgments, Father. We already feel your protection. I don't even have to ask. I already know I'm protected. Hallelujah. Thank you for your protection, Father. Thank you for assigning angels to protect us as we tell our truths against wickedness, against the evil of this world. Thank you, Father, for your protection. We ask you for your empowerment, Father, even more. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for Allowing us to realize who we really are, your children, whom you favor enough to hear, Father, in your most holy courts. Thank you, Father. I love you. I adore you. Star Seed United, you know what to do. Give your Father praise and glory. Give your mother adoration and pledge your allegiance to your big brother, the Messiah, the King and God of this earth. And to all of our allies and friends, may the Most High bless you greatly. May he protect you through these judgments that are about to hit this earth. I told y'all the Most High's host is on pause right now. And they're still trying to fight him after this summer. After this summer, with 23 unprecedented catastrophic events to happen on this earth, including the earth boiling, and yet they're still wicked and they're still evil. That's why the Most High don't want us to feel sorry for them when he judges them. And may the Most High take all the imposters down. Yeah, and give us our identity back and make them pay for everything that they have done to us in this 3D dimension. All praises to the Most High. All praises. Yes, that's what I have for you today. You know, uh, Hashitan is trying all kind of magical tricks and stuff to put us back into bondage and also to rule the world. He's lost. He's lost. His time is over now. This great reset is going to happen whether he like it or not. This, the Most High has marked this earth for judgment. And we know who's reigning. Yeah, we know who's reigning for now, very short time. But very soon, soon and very soon, our Messiah is going to make his appearance. And that's going to be a done deal. And every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess who is the King and God of this earth, the Son of the Most High God of Israel, and the Mother Marihala. All praises. I hope you glean some wonderful energy and some power from this message. Keep your eyes open. That's what mother wants us to do. Mother and father has appointed us to be judges. Like I said earlier in this video, you don't need to watch my, my videos to go to the court to the most high. Now you know you're a judge or you know you're in the jury. When you see something happening, close your eyes. And see that outstretched hand of judgment and start talking to your father. Because he's bound the heavens to hear you too. Our magic is very powerful. It's, it's, we are, see what's happening. is we are mirroring. We're mirroring what's happening in the 5D. 
This earth is in judgment in the 5D, but the Most High has it, where us, we're still living in this 3D. We had to be a part of this mirroring what's happening in the 5D, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I hope you are too. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you today. May the Most High bless you richly in the very near future. Abacadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your support of the station. Yes, all of your comments and hitting that like button and for your gifts of love. Thank you so very much and may the Most High bless you 100 fold for whatever your heart's desire. Abracadabra. Until the next magical show, your big sister, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho. Out. Shalom. Oh, my God.